echelon of Ready. skill Ready. and speed Ready. and power that the sport has Austin. to offer. Round number one begins. Each boxer with six first round knockouts in their careers. Donaire, nice and quick. With that left hand. See, Nishioko already over respecting that left hook by putting his left hand up so high that Donaire won't even see a shot to throw the hook. That should open up Donaire's straight right and his overhand right, though. Well, what are some of the things that Toshiaki Nishioka needs to do in the early part of this fight to get a rhythm going in the direction that he needs it to be? But the one thing he's doing wrong right now is he's not jabbing at all. Just keeping that hand stationary is going to allow Nonito to have basic target practice at it. That was a jab. And after the table center of Rios Alvarado, the fans here in Carson, California, have no interest in any fainting. <laughs> <laughs> Or posing and just holding your hands up. These are two highly skilled fighters, but they both scored plenty of knockouts. Donaire more of the one-punch variety, but I've seen Nishioka get guys in trouble with one shot, too. Nishioka's been down three times in his career. Donaire has not. funny for the fans in attendance it's almost like how could you expect to match what you just saw at least to start this fight will open up i mean i don't think that i would have taken a main event behind those two <laughs> <laughs> nishioka believes donaire's left hook is what he has to watch for donaire believes nishioka's open for that shot at least heading into this fight but let's not forget against sidorinko and other top fighters donaire has Starched him with a straight right hand. Yeah, well, what Donaire should do right now is throw a straight right hand to the body some Since Nishioko has that left hand and has his right hand so high on his face trying to guard the left hook Make him reach for the right hand then hit him with an overhand right The combination from Donaire fell short Nishioka At this point according to CompuBox has thrown a whopping seven punches in the round the Donaire's 39 He's just trying to get comfortable and get close to Donaire and see what he sees before he opens up. Here we see one of the reasons Donaire's been less scintillating recently. His opponents are so wary of his power, they don't give him a lot to hit. He has to start going to that showboat mode to try to create openings somewhere to bait his opponent. Has a fault a fighter that it, that probably with the skill level of a Donito Donaire, so you know. And Robert Garcia, the trainer of Donaire, was thinking along with you, Roy. He said, look, he's got that right hand glued up to his head. Let's throw a straight right hand. That's there. exactly right. You got to open up something with the left hand. But Nishioka's used to winning. It's been eight years since he lost. But he is 36 years old. He contemplated retirement before this fight. Omar Narvaez was undefeated with a bunch of title defenses. He wouldn't open up against Donaire. And Nishioka so far seems intimidated by Donair, Donair's power. Yeah, but he's waiting to get a good shot in before he throws anything. He's kind of smart like that. He's trying to catch Donair in the middle of a punch and try to land his own big shot to see what happens. Nishioka. Very, very tentative right now. And he can be a high volume punching fighter. Yeah, but in this fight, he's more worried about Donaire's power. So he's respecting it so much that he's not punching. There's a good jab from Nishioka. And Nishioka, when he throws more punches, it'll tend to be as the fight heats up and his conditioning starts to show. I think it's a smart tactic that he's using because he's not enabling no, no, no. Lolito no, to, no, land, no. to land the Don't left hook. Don't push your head down. That you cause that, but, okay? Don't push your head down. Right, let's go. You okay? Let's go. Shake hands. I don't know if they bang these. 
And Denier flexing that right knee. Roy, you know, donaire has got all the weapons and all the tools and all the speed, but Nishioka's fighting so defensively. Is part of Nishioka's thinking here to get him frustrated and make him make a mistake where I can counter it? Exactly. Make him make a foolish mistake, make him get over anxious because he knows that the crowd now wants to see activity. That's what they see in the first fight. So if you can make him make a foolish mistake, you can try to counter and catch him with a big shot. And that's what Nishioka is trying to do right now. And Nishioka has landed another good jab. In spite of what Donaire says, that he's only worried about the guy in front of him and all this, I think he's aware of his pound-for-pound -pound status. He's nearing the top. He's aware of guys like Andre Ward and spectacular performances and how he needs his own big performances to stay in that conversation. So when the fight is dull, he wants to do something to enliven it. Toshiaki Nishioka in the last round, according to CompuBox, Donaire's connects were all power shots, 11 of 27. Steps in with that right hand that Robert Garcia asked for. Another there, right hand. There's a shot that I've been looking for all night because he's trying to move his left hand, I mean his right hand to the fan. No, it's his left hand. But he's not moving that right hand at all. So go over the left hand, the one that he is moving. When Donaire steps to his right and achieves that outside position with his foot, that, that straight right hand is very difficult to defend for Nishioka. And Nishioka is partially blinding him on self, his own self with that right hand staying so close to his head. Because he needs to defend against the left hook? Well, he's afraid of the left hook. <laughs> When we asked him in the fighter meeting what was Donaire's best weapon, he said, <laughs> left hook. Roy, when you were arguably the best fighter in the world, there was no argument at the time that right. I recall. But when you had a guy in front of you that was playing defensive like this, how, how did you not get frustrated? How does Donaire combat against getting frustrated? Well, it's very difficult not to get frustrated, but there was one time I had an actual softball in front of me that did this to me. So what I started doing was beating his right shoulder. And I beat his right shoulder so bad that they had to stop the fight because of injury to his right shoulder. So if I was Donaire, I'd be hooking his right shoulder right now until he takes it down so I can see the chin. Well, let's see if Donaire does some of that. He has used some more of those lead right hands. Nishioka just not, he's not throwing any punches. He's thrown 11 so far in the round. Well, he's fighting very smart. He's not trying to get caught with a shot. He's trying to wait for a great opportunity to catch Donaire or make Donaire want to appease to the crowd. If he can make him do that and Donaire opens up, then maybe he can land a good lucky shot. Yeah, we already know that a, a world-class fighter, a belt holder, a champion, if he's intent on neutralizing Donaire, can last the distance with him. So far, from Nishioka, I was expecting a little bit more of a will to try to see if he could actually win the fight. Benair looks to reset, throws that right hand, misses with his right cross. And we come to the final seconds of round. Stop Number three, Nonito Donaire, pound for pound, one of the best in the world. Stop. Born in the Philippines, moved to the U.S. at age 10, a star. Not only is her husband a champion, but soon to be movie star <laughs> in the Philippines. As we check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, <laughs> Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob, I've got a three to nothing, 30 to 27, Nonito Donaire. I mean, as I see this fight, he's doing all the punching. The problem with Nishioka is he's not punching enough. And you know, Bob, I've been watching that weird right hand all night. You know, the way he holds that right hand, it's very strange. He doesn't seem to snap it an awful lot. You know, and I don't see where it's a big uh, uh, defensive uh, maneuver, you know, keeping it that high. I think you ought to keep it at a normal level and throw it more. Three to nothing, Donaire. Can't argue with that, Harold. Donaire just kind of going about his business right now. 
trying to find that opening to really hurt Nishioka, but Nishioka not giving me any opportunities. Nishioka, it seems, came into this fight believing that Donaire was better than him, and I guess Donaire has done nothing to dissuade him. Roy, from your time in the ring, when you were in a guy that was looking to survive, and you hear the crowd whistling and hooting, you know it's not for you, per se, but does it affect you? Uh, as a disciplinarian, no, it doesn't affect you, because you know that your job is to remain disciplined and do what it is that you train to do. So Donaire right here is landing some good body shots, as you see, landing a good straight right to the head every now and then, and that's all he can get. So just take what you can get until the store opens up. Donaire opens up with a combination there. Nishioka back to that defensive shell. There's the hand speed of Donaire. What you have to remember is that uh, Nishioka hasn't lost in eight years. He didn't go that long without a loss by being stupid. He's very smart, very uh, effective with his movement, and he's very defensive. He's trying to avoid the left hook by all means necessary. And there steps in with a combination. Punch is starting to show an effect on Nishioka's face. Yeah, especially his right eye. The bell. Swelling underneath that right eye. Stop. Another clearly controlled round. Good box, good box. So we begin round number five of the schedule, 12 rounders. And Nito Donaire opens up with a combination. I do think what we're seeing here from Donaire is he's been good to his word, Roy, about going back to boxing. And if the knockout comes, so be it. Um, last couple fights, it looked like he tried to force things a little more, and so he didn't have the success he's having tonight against a survival-minded fighter. Yeah, you're right there, and uh, the only thing you got to remember is that Nishioko is not worried about nothing but trying to land one power shot. So by him boxing like he's doing, it's enabling him to build up a heck of a lead on the scorecards, and that's what you want to do in case something does happen. Nishioko landed his jab. Donair followed with the right hand. We have not seen the frustration from Donair that we've seen in some of his other fights. Triples up the jab, shoots the right to the body. Steps in with a power shot that just missed. So far, he's totally outclassing a top fighter, you know, as usual. Watch your feet, guys. Watch your feet. But Nishioko is forcing him to dig in his arsenal a little bit to throw combinations that he normally doesn't throw, making him change up the combinations because of that right hand staying so high up on his head. So Donaire can't hit him with the first punch or the second punch. Usually he hits him with the third or the fourth punch. Unless it's a pop shot like that right hand was. That's a good jab from Nishioka. Donaire steps in with a combination. Good jab by Conair. No, no, no. Pick him up. Pick him up. Nishioka okay. low with that punch. Sign of frustration. I'm just happy through a punch. Nishioka is doing a little bit more in this round. He's moving forward a little bit more. Tried to step in with 
His left Stop hand. Stop. End of round five. Saw you. Back in the person. Unleashed Yoka threw a fight high 21 punches in the last round, according to Compu Box. Landed six of them. Donaire hit on 11 of his 29 power shots as we begin round number six. 22 pounder throwing 21 punches in the round. Not going to get it done. It's called survival. But then what's his point, boy? The, to say that, well, I didn't get knocked out by the left hand? This is exactly by the left hook. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the left uppercut still doesn't catch him later on in the fight. But he won't get caught by the left hook no time soon. See that left uppercut right there? Mm -hmm. That's on, the shot because he's cue. holding that right hand up. On cue. Donaire backs away from that left hand. <laughs> that time Donaire missed with the uppercut. Nishioka comes back with the left. Good left uppercut. Yeah, you know, from the look on Donaire's face, he's glad when Nishioka opens up because it affords him targets, you know, counter-punching opportunities. Great right hand by Donaire. Nishioka landed the left hand of the body. Nishioka seems like he's starting to warm up a little bit. Well, he certainly had ample time to warm up. <laughs> We're in round six. It's cold outside. Nishioka down. Short shot inside. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk to me. Donaire steps in. There it is again. Trying oh. to finish him. Left hand from Nishioka. Combination from Nishioka. Donair hooks inside. No, stop. Short and left. Again Ten from Donair. Right hand over the top. Straight right hand. Nishioka says, bring it on. Left hand from Donair. Now Nishioka's showing something. And the... Piercy because Nishioka's holding that left hand, right hand so high on his head. Donaire got smart and came under it. And it came right between both hands with the left uppercut. Beautiful shot to sit Nishioka down for a second. Once again, you see him with the right hand high. And Nonito comes right up under that right hand with a beautiful left uppercut to the chin. If, if that's what happens. When you exchange with Donaire. All right, let's check in with Harold Letterman as we begin round seven. Okay, Bob, boy, we started to get a fight there for a minute. <laughs> Six to nothing. 60 to 53, Nondito Donaire. Yeah, he won the first five rounds easily. The sixth round, just like Max said, Nishioka opened up and got dropped. You got to give Nonito Donaire an extra point in round six for knocking the man off his feet. Six to nothing. 60 to 53, Nonito Donaire. I like what I saw from... D Nishioka after the knockdown he figured look I'm gonna lose anyway or get hit hard anyway might as well make a fight of it that's exactly right and he really threw some pretty good punches at Donaire while Donaire was trying to get him some really good punches yeah that's a very dangerous time for a fighter so after a waltz through five and a half rounds Nishioka decided to open it up Right hand from Donaire, and Nishioka steps in with the left. Donaire counters with his left. They've both taken each other's bombs very well since the knockdown. 
good body shot. Yeah, after he doubled up with the jab, didn't know now. And there thumps that right hand. And see, even though Nishioka is blocking oh. the punches, Flash of heads there as Nishioka tried to throw his left. No problem. Let's go. Box. Even though Nishioka is blocking those punches, he's feeling the true power behind him. And it's causing him to stay in that defensive stance. Jab from Nishioka. Donaire jumped in with his power shot. And this jab from Nishioka. Yeah, he does have quick hands. You can understand why he hasn't lost in eight years. Quick hands and some pop. You think those headbutts are accidental, Roy? Well, you know when we have a softy and a left and a right-handed fighter to fight, usually we do have accidental headbutts. So yes, I think that was totally accidental. There's that jab again. Ten seconds. Stop at the bell. Stop at the bell. A couple of rounds. As we begin round number eight, scheduled for 12. Nishioka down in the sixth. Bob Papa, Roy Jones Jr., Max Kellerman, and Harold Letterman ringside for HBO's Boxing After Dark. No, Nito Donaire putting his 122 pound belts on the line against Toshiaki Nishioka of Japan. Nishioka has not lost in eight and a half years. 39, 4, and 3 with 24 knockouts. Donaire 29 and 1 with 18 knockouts. Pound for pound, one of the best in the world. He doesn't have an impenetrable defense. Roy, you've compared him to you in your prime, and he has some. Of he reminds me also of Sugar Ray Leonard a bit in the sense that Ray would mix it up, and so you could hit him even at his best. And Donaire seems to me the same way. Yeah, they don't move a lot on their feet like I did. I use my legs as my primary source of defense. They don't. They use their hands and their shoulders as their primary source of defense. So they definitely are capable of being hit more when they open up the punch. I was less likely to be hit because I had the speed of a cat, but I used my legs as my defensive weapons. But as a result, they were also really crowd-pleasing. Ray Leonard was really crowd-pleasing uh, at times because of that, because of his willingness to fight that way. Most definitely, and because of the hand speed. Count a right hand from Donaire after Nishioka lands the left. Donaire shoots a straight right. Good enough to hear about this shit. Yeah, he steps in a little combination to the chin of Donaire. Donaire answers back with the right hand. Boy, what is Nishioka seeing in which, as defensive as he was through the first five, he has opened up a little more offensively? Well, he hasn't lost in eight years. He doesn't really want to lose tonight. I mean, don't make no mistake about it. He is truly a winner. He didn't come all the way over here to lose the fight. So now that he's at it, He's feeling like this is a big hand getting hit. Wow. wow. There they go, opening up power shot. Nishioka is throwing home run bombs, and he's willing to take them to try to land his own. It's not a bad idea. Not bad at all. And Donaire has to be careful walking in and throwing that upper cut, too. Now. So Nishioka starting to let that left hand go here near the Stop end of round number down. eight. Number nine underway for Nomiko Donair and Koshiaki Nishioka. According to CompuBox in the last round, Nishioka's 44 punches thrown, his high water mark in the fight, and his nine connects his high water mark. And Donair gets flipped down. No knockdown, says Roe Kai Sr., the referee. I've never seen that before. 
I've he's, never seen a guy do a 360 in a being pushed down, spun down. I think their knees may have banged. You know, early in the fight, Donaire's right knee banged too. You're wondering about late power, Noshiaki has three knockouts in his career after the eighth round. Donaire has none. Nishioka now with purposeful aggression, trying to get in position to punch. Pumps out that jab again, does Nishioka. Left hand to the body by Donaire scores. That one was blocked. Nishioka steps in with a combination. And this is what Nishioka starts to do around the Oh, oh down goes Nishioka from a counter shot. Four, five, six, seven. I'm sure you're okay, eight. Coming into this body, he's been down three times in his career, down twice, and now the referee steps in and stops it. And that was the... That was the straight right hand that Donaire promised. Nishioka's corner jumped in to protect him. Uh, the corner jumped in. We're told they stopped it. Everybody else, let, let the doctor see the fighter. And Onito Donaire, win number 30, stoppage number 19. English. Yoga does not speak English. He speaks English. He speaks Spanish. He speaks English. Yeah. I'm being told that the corner of Nishioka stepped in to stop the fight. Get confirmation on that in just a second. Here's the counter shot from Donaire, Roy. Yeah, he allowed Nishioka to open up some by backing up. And once Nishioka did, he made himself wide open for the left, for the straight right hand, which he really had been all night long had he been on the attack. But because he was staying back so much, it was harder for Nonito to hit him with it. Now he's bringing the pressure, bringing his face to Nonito, and Nonito just comes right out of that faint with a straight right hand. Bam! Right on the chin, down goes Nishioka. Second time in the fight, Nishioka was down. Here's Raul Caiz, senior, giving the count. Now he looks over, gets ready to begin the action, and lets it continue, and then steps in and stops it. So Nonito Donaire with his 30th win. Just on a kind of pedestrian first five rounds that Nishioka elected to make it more of a fight in the sixth round. Nishioka got dropped in the sixth and then dropped again in the ninth. Anytime he chose to truly fight back, he got dropped. For the official time of the stoppage, once again, we send it up to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Raul Caiz Sr. steps in and calls a halt at about the official time of one minute, 54 seconds of round number nine. The winner by TKO victory and still the WBO junior featherweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donia.
Nonito Donaire finishes off Toshiaka Nishioka in the ninth round as we take a look at the total punch numbers in the fight. You see that Donaire landed 134 of 485.